if you are one of those people who is a little bit confused about their religion, faith and everything, you might feel connected to a lot of characters here and a lot of discussions that are done between Professor Azur and the students or among the students only. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Shubham Gupta aka Wallflower HD and today I have decided to talk about Three Daughters of Eve by Elif Shafak. It was on my October TBR and I finally decided to finish reading it and I finished reading it on last Monday only, Monday morning at 5 a.m. Don't ask me why, I just did. So guys, Three Daughters of Eve is written by Elif Shafak who is a Turkish writer, a well-renowned that too. And this book was published back in 2016. So what this book is all about, uh, this book actually runs around a girl named Perry in two different parts. So first part is about the current Perry, that is in 2016. And another Perry is about the past Perry. The current Perry is a middle-aged woman who is on her way to a fancy dinner party. On her way, she meets an accident which is more of that a thief snatches her back from her back from the back of her car and Perry decides to chase him down and get her handbag back. Handbag back. <laughs> and uh, she uh, finds that uh, the thief is not working by himself, there are more of them and she meets the manager, more like manager of those thieves and uh, some things happen, she was almost raped, she gets a very deep cut in her hand and uh, she sees something in the air. Uh, so that was the point of time where like before these two or three things happen, the manager of the thieves empties her bag up uh, by turning it upside down and their drops from her bag is a polaroid a polaroid of perry sharon and mona and a professor named professor azur and that's the point where she'd start reminiscing about her past her childhood her family the relationship between each other and the relationship uh, of all those people to with Perry, uh, how things change in her family, what were the reason how one really reputed family uh, take uh, things uh, took toll on, and uh, what were the reason how they all got a little bit separated, and their beliefs, their faith, in everything along the lines. And later on, we also figure out, we understand like how she ends up in Oxford and the guy she marries. So there are a lot of elements in her past that helps you understand through everything. You don't have to care a lot about the plot because you already know that the current Perry is in a very, uh, not even if she is not a, in a lot of uh, happy place that she has uh, left her dreams and everything along the lines to get married or what were the, whatever the reasons were you know that she gets her way out she finds her way out she is living a life a happier life or a happy life is if i'll say and uh, but uh, there are a lot of elements in the book for example what is it to be a woman what is it to be a feminist what are the people like when you are in a very secluded place how the life is when you walk into a whole different world how is it uh, i am from india so i know how certain things take toll on you or how sometimes things like religion faith uh, actually makes you think a lot about other things and being feminist is not very easy uh, even in the current times, definitely not for all, but for a lot of us, as I'll put it that way. So, but, but the, there are so many things, there are so many small and really crisp elements that I've picked in this book and they're talked about and uh, you'll enjoy it. Now, coming to the part that uh, what, uh, this, what you'll find in this book apart from these things that it is divided in four different parts and each 
part wherever you are meeting a new person like you are meeting Sharon or you are meeting Mona or you are meeting Azur the tension and the things the story around those things are built up in a, such a crisp way that you will feel like that okay now I want to know what happens next throughout the book uh, uh, there are so many theories that you might be making like I did I personally love making theories that maybe this was the reason why it was happening maybe that was the reason or you know maybe that's how it happened all those reasons are put aside actually in my case 90% of my theories were put in the dustbin I practically threw them away but uh, so that that's the other way of me saying that a lot of turns are unexpected most of them and uh, even if the writer is telling you very minute details about a person about certain things you'll actually feel like that you know a lot about that person so those are the things that i loved about this book and uh, the cliffhangers and the small details the detail in which writer has talked about certain things like how they discuss politics on, in a dinner party how people are just like uh, based on the, your gender you are put in a different category and other gender is put in a different category what is it to be uh, like to be growing up in Istanbul while go growing in England or like Mona and Sharon are from similar background religiously yet they have lived in different places so how their mentality and their characters are different their characteristics are different from Perry and how do they take care of themselves how their beliefs and thoughts and faith is different from Perry or similar in certain ways but how do they question it there is a very uh, specific topic that has been picked and which I loved about it that was God Professor Azur actually teaches about God or teaches God uh, like what is your faith how to stay connected to that not exactly but they debate a lot about it like your faith your belief all those people in his class are Azur Professor Azur is a really amazing character I'll say uh, his kind of work his type of work his style of working is very different and it makes you question in a lot of places that is it just the characters in the book that are being used in a certain way but also are you being used in a certain way that's how I feel I have no idea why each character in this book is very flawed but the reason that are given with each flaw is amazing you will actually understand why they are of a certain way and why they are not what were the reasons they were made in a way there will be couple of places where you will I don't know about you but I was screaming <laughs> that how can you do this to a certain person you have no right to do that there were like two three three main places where I felt like that this character deserved better or this character could have done better so it wouldn't have happened that way for example with her with her father uh, with her elder brother with her elder brother's wife and with Professor Azur it was chilling it was very sad and sickening to what that happened to as to what happened with them and how those things changed Perry and how these things actually even changed you maybe even if it's changing you point zero 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 one percent it will change you in a way now as to say what I didn't like about the book it's a discussion it's 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 me telling you so I'll definitely put it out there so things that I didn't like about this book that in certain areas we are way too much invested in certain characters 
and i don't understand if they're not going to serve in a really long way in your life or in a character's life or they're not going to support too much the book too much of the book why should i think that much about that character yes i understand it's not necessary that if you're meeting a person in your life it is necessary that they will actually have an impact in your life for a really long time but they do right for example if we're talking about the manager of the thieves i really thought that because we are talking so deeply about this character i'm going to know a lot more about him or maybe he is related to the rest of the story in a way that was not another thing certain places description was a lot i don't understand why do i want to know that what kind of clothing they are wearing at a certain point of time it makes you face reality that a lot of people are using us somewhere i felt bad and i didn't like to agree to that definitely i'll put it in under the fact that i loved that thing about the book but it was too much for what you know a character used the rest of the people the first three parts are very really slow it's different places and they talk a lot which is good but the fourth part that is like last 60 pages they just vanish and they don't even give me all the answers that i have like what happens to her father what happens to her the siblings to the two siblings that she has what happened to mona i know about peri's mother what she is doing these days but if we are coming to an end of a book i guess even if they are not supporting a lot of places in the book they are the reasons why we are reading it three daughters of peri like give me something more about children and mona and father definitely because uh, peri's father played a vital role in her life i believe that i deserve to know what happens to him at the end and while talking about it this book is left on a cliffhanger this uh, book is not a part of a series this is the only book like this is the big thing this is the ending and it's left on a cliffhanger with bunch of pages at the last was i meant to write the cliffhanger was i meant to finish the book i don't know i don't want to go very deep into these things but yes these are the things that i hated about this book there are loose threads i don't know how to pass them up i there are loose threads i don't know their ending where they're going to end the cliffhanger at the end of the book doesn't make sense what happens there and last bunch of pages let's just forget about the last 60 pages last bunch of pages just happen like in a sofa was trying to put it on an end why what was the hurry give me more to the story i think i deserved a little bit more from the story itself and definitely from the ending all in all i really love the book don't think a lot before picking it up uh, there are so many places and pieces of this book that you will really enjoy so guys that is that from my side summary of the book what i liked about the book what i didn't like about the book it was published back in 2016 only but i think its impact will go on and on because of the topics that elif shafak has picked to build up the base and to for the rest of the story do give it a read if you're going to read it do let me know in the comment section below if not do let me in this do let me know in the section below and if you have already read it and you want to discuss about it you can always email me or you can direct message me on my instagram account the link to my instagram account will be in the bio description link to my instagram account will be in the description below to rest of the my 
to rest of my accounts link will be in the description below hope you enjoyed this video so guys don't forget to like comment and share this video if you really enjoyed this video that's all from my side for the time being so next video will be up as soon as possible i promise you that so till the next time take care stay safe and keep revisiting <laughs> bye